Yes, that's Joe Bleen here. Today I thought we'd do a video on the Team of the Week, Nabry. He's a striker. Well, he's position changed. Team of the Week is striker for half nine Germany in the Bundesliga. And you can pick him up from the Team of the Week section for 700 Team of the Week points, which is easily gettable for anybody. It's just, do you want to take that hit? Because I'm making this mainly from the... If you're free to play, there's a high chance that you're probably using the math. And Dai Dahu, who I like to call Dai Day who I use in my free-to-play Road to Glory, and I was making the decision, should I buy Nabry for my free-to-play team, or should I continue to save up my Team of the Week points? And it's probably a question a lot of you have thought yourself, so I thought I'd do this video today. Now, we've got Nabry here, he's at 79 rated with 87 dribbling. First of all, how many times you need to level him up to get him to do the 90, to get him to 90 dribbling, to do the rainbow? That's question number one. Because off the bat, his stats are looking pretty impressive. And he's definitely got the stats to say, is he a Didi, Didi contender? Because Didi off the bat, he's um, he does he only needs one or two. He only needs a couple of upgrades. By the time you get Didi to 80, he's easily doing the rainbow. And he's also very fast. Um, Didi's got the agility um, skill boost, which is dribbling, reaction, ball control, sprint speed and awareness. Nabry's got the acceleration, so it's giving him acceleration, reactions, positioning, shot power, short passing. And there it is. Nabry only needs one upgrade, so 5,000 XP roughly. Uh, no, 3,500 XP and about 25k. So he's very cheap to upgrade to get him rainbow in. And then once you're there, you've got that fast, fast speed. He's got about 95 speed. Obviously, my acceleration's jumping him up a lot because it's plus seven. Um, his shot power is at in the 85s which is higher his shot power and his finishings a lot higher rated than died is my daddy on my road to glory at the moment is an 83 and at 83 he's got 78 shot power it's 83 finishing whereas this nabry what i was using in these shots has got um well this is i, I left the boosted on just because i wanted to get a better representation because my road to glory died is 88 due to boost so I left him on for to use in Nabri at an 80 plus 7 to get a representation that way. And Nabri I was so, so disappointed with. And I'm glad I've done this on my main account first. Because now I know that I don't want to waste my team of the weak points on him. And I'm going to stick to Didi. Because Didi, in my opinion, is was a lot is a lot better. He's a lot more clinical for me. I'll tell you that. I was so much looking forward to using Nabri. I was like, this is the gem we've all been waiting for. And it was finally EA making these Team of the Week changes so that anybody can pick up the Team of the Week cards. Because now, it, when we're doing reviews of Team of the Week players, it's now got purpose again. Because before it was, do you go on the market and buy him? Should you? And maybe it's like, okay, maybe you'll like him, maybe you won't pick him up, if not sell him. Now it's a case of, should you use your Team of the Week points to get this player? And it adds a lot more meaning to it, especially for those who are free to play and only get two and a half thousand team the week points a week if they do every event now it's a case of is this player worth spending team the week points on and if it um, to to for me to say yes do it from a free to play perspective they've got to be very very good and the truth of the matter is nabry wasn't good enough he was darn right disappointing i was very 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 disappointed with him don't get me wrong he was still scoring goals he was just not scoring enough goals i went to league versus league and i played some guy who was 90 rated because i thought that's the closest representation to how i'm using my free to play in my free to play i'm at 88 and i regularly come up against teams that are 88 to 93 so i came up against teams that are of similar level to what i'd be coming up against in my free to play at the moment and these are teams against where I know Died is scoring 70-80% of his chances. Whereas Nabry, his conversion was very, very low. Some of these shots you look at thinking, why are you taking these shots? These are shots that I know I can score with Didi, that I do score daily with Didi. So for Nabry to not score them only cemented the more that Nabry was not the gem that I was looking for. He was not the first true team of the week bargain beast. Last year we, we got a few over the year and you couldn't really use them past a little bit of fun. Now you can because if they're good you can keep leveling them up and they can stay competitive and you can use them all year. And sadly Nabry wasn't the case. I cannot recommend you guys spending 700 points on Nabry. If, if you get lucky and you get him in one of the event packs, fair play. Maybe try him out. 
maybe you'll have better. I know a few people have been using him and enjoying him, but from my experience with Nabry, he was definitely, definitely categorically not good enough. And despite having better shooting stats and pretty much mainly all better stats than Didi, Didi was just is just a hell of a lot more consistent for me. Didi is a little bit faster, but that's not too much of an issue. They're, if we look at the base stats of my 80 plus 7 Nabry and my 83 plus 5 Didi, Nabry's at 98 pace, Didi's at 100. Nabry's agility is at 87, Nab Didi's is at 90. Nabry's shooting is at 79, Didi's at 73. Now, one of the things that you'd expect to be weakest about Didi is his 73 shooting. However, and Nab Nabry's at 79 now, I was thinking, this is brilliant. This is why I was so looking forward to Nabry so much, because I was thinking, it's very, very, very similar to Didi in terms of all stats, apart from shooting, where he's got a lot better shooting stats. And it was just so annoying that his shooting was nowhere near as good as Didi's. It's just Didi's just this like magical player of magicness that can do magic things. Like he's that player. Every year in FIFA, there's that player. Didi is that player this year. To me, I cannot recommend getting Nabry. So in case you're thinking, do you pull on that decision or do you save your points further up in the month? Save them. Don't get Nabry. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. Come follow me on Twitter at JBHD, and I'll see you all later.